Well, look, you'll be striving for winners next week at Royal Ascot and uh, quite an impressive team you bring in. Yes, it's, uh, as you know, it's very difficult to win races at Royal Ascot. The, the group races are extremely tough and the, and the handicaps um, are a bit of a lottery because there's so many runners in it. But uh, it's a fantastic meeting and we all strive to have a try and we'll have a winner there. You've got Afsari in the uh, Prince of Wales on Wednesday and uh, Richard Hughes in the saddle. Yeah, Afsari is, uh, is a lovely horse. Uh, he's been a bit unlucky so far in his career. Um, difficult to see him win the race because with horses like al Kazim and Camelot, I think the first two places are already taken. But he's in excellent form and I'm hopeful that he runs a good race and perhaps we get a, a share of the money. In the Buckingham Palace, you've got Rock along. He's strung three in a row together now and he's been impressive. He's, he's, he's a nice horse. We were hoping to get him in the Hunt Cup, but unfortunately he didn't get in from, or he won't get in from the bottom. And uh, he's got a better chance of getting in the, in the Buckingham Palace. It means coming back to seven from a mile, but he's got the speed and um, if he gets in, he'll run a good race. What sort of ground will you be hoping for next week for him? Uh, fast ground. Man Athos in the Group 1 Harbaker horse we know well down in Australia. Uh, he's come back well too. He's come back extremely well. He, he had an exercise counter when he won the Ormond Stakes at Chester. He won it, I think, by eight, eight or nine lengths. Uh, admittedly, he didn't beat a lot, but that's the way he did it. He seems to be in very good form, and, uh, and Hardwick is a good target for him. Great Wood nominated for the King Edward or the Tercentenary. Which way would you prefer to go? Well, I want to see the entries. I want to see what's in each race uh, before consulting with Henry, Harry, Harry Her Herbert and, uh, and making a decision. It depends on the strength of each field. Kitten on the run in a similar boat, the Britannia or the Tercentenary. Again, how the field shape up? Yeah, a bit how the field shapes up. Uh, Kitten on the run is a lovely horse that um, Terry Henderson, a OTI, bought in from Italy in, in the spring in the spring but we are still getting to know him and we're not really quite sure yet whether he prefers a mile or a mile and a quarter I think he's probably versatile and it can go in either Which horse are you most excited about taking to the races next week? All of them